Inside this lab, scientists race to confirm potential foodborne illness, searching through harmful bacteria detected in stool samples. This was a unique organism that we'd never seen before. We have a whole bunch of machines that are dedicated to try and identify the genotype of the organisms we see. Their work begins when samples are collected from sick patients. The lab came across one of three rare strains of salmonella linked to tainted cantaloupe that killed at least five people in Canada. The next step was genetic sequencing, taking DNA from the bacteria. Within a couple of days, we were able to identify the fact that this was happening not just here, but all over the place. This is just one piece of the puzzle, another tracing the source of infections. To do that, patients are interviewed about their travel history and what they ate. And this is where we begin the process of testing the cantaloupe. Then food is investigated at microbiology labs, similar to this one in Ontario. We know that the contamination is on the surface of the cantaloupe. Scientists create special conditions to allow the contaminated food to grow more bacteria. Then they isolate it. Each little dot, that's a colony of, of salmonella bacteria. If they confirm it's salmonella, next is DNA sequencing, which can tell them if it's antibiotic resistant or has been present in other outbreaks. The DNA fingerprinting approach has been um, increasing in its ability to effectively determine the source. Finally, the two investigations are compared. And each of those stripes represents a mutation. In this case, it was an exact match between the bacteria found in the patients and the bacteria in the cantaloupes. How those cantaloupes were contaminated in the first place is still unknown. So is the extent of the outbreak. Scientists say it could take years to get the full picture. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.